to the wonderful world of Growth Pi and Raspberry Pi, and you want to get started in Python. But this is your very first time with Python. Let me help you get started. You've made it this far. Your Growth Pi is connected to your Pi, and you can log into the desktop via VNC or directly. Our first step will be to connect an LED sensor to port D7 on the Growth Pi. First, let's be sure our LED is mounted properly. Notice on the sensor board, there's a circle where the LED is meant to go. One side of the circle is flat, and one side of the bottom part of the LED is also flat, so they should be matched. Let's connect the LED to port D7. The connector can only go one way, you can't go wrong. We're ready to start coding. On your Pi desktop, click on Menu, Programming. There are two entries for Python. One is for Python 2 and the other for Python 3. While the Growth Pi can work with both, the default installation is for Python 2, so let's select that one. The Python shell is now available and we can start coding. The first thing we need to do is enter from GrovePy import star and press the return key. Hmm, nothing happened. Well, that's actually good news. What we just did was ask Python to go and fetch all the functionality that is necessary to control the GrovePy. Since it worked, we are greeted with the three arrows, a sign that Python is ready for our next command. That next command will be to turn the LED on. The LED is currently on a digital port. It can only be on or off and cannot take any other state. That's what digital means. To turn the LED on, we need to enter the following command. Digital write with a capital W, parenthesis, 7, that's the port, comma, 1, close parenthesis. When I'll press the Enter key, you will see the LED change in the video. Woo! It's never been this fun to turn the lights on since I was 2 years old. Let's go back over what we did and make some sense of it. Digital write is the function that says we want to talk to a digital port. The parentheses are required to pass on parameters to digital write. The 7 means we want to talk to port D7. And the 1 means go on, do something. You can guess that something similar is needed to turn the LED off. Let's enter digital write parentheses 7 comma 0 close parentheses. And watch the LED react when I press the enter key. Yay, the robots are not in control yet. We are. Huh, that's reassuring. Maybe you notice that the Python shell is printing a 1 after each command. That's digital write telling us that all went well and the command got executed without mistakes. That's all very well, but we don't always want to do live coding like we've been doing so far. I don't want to be at the keyboard telling the computer what to do every single time. I'd like to have some code that it can execute without me having to enter everything every single time. For that, we need to create a file that will contain the commands. Go to File New and get a file editor to enter your code. That file needs a name, so let's name it right away. In the file editor and not in the shell, go to File and select Save As. Select the folder where you want to save. For now, I'll save it in the default location, and let's name it first LED.py, and click the Save button. We are back in the file editor. We need to enter all the commands we had before. From GrovePy, import, star, and enter. Digital write. Parenthesis 7, comma, 1, parenthesis, and enter. You'll notice the LED didn't change. 
that's because the code isn't run yet. We're just creating a file for now, and the computer will run the code when we say so, and not immediately. Now the last command. Digital capital W right parenthesis 7 comma 0 and parenthesis. You can see at the top there's that a little star to indicate the file in its present state isn't saved. That's okay, because it will be automatically saved when we run it in a couple of seconds. To run the code, we now need to click on Run and Run Module, or remember that F5 shortcut, which is just a faster way of running the code. We are asked to save the file and fine, good idea, let's save it. Okay, what happened here? Not much. We got a restart and the three arrows. The LED didn't change. Now what? Turns out everything is fine. The restart will be here every time we run a program. And the three arrows mean the program is complete. But the LED didn't turn on. Turns out it did go on and quickly off again. The computer is really fast and we're just too slow in comparison. So we need to go back to our program and change it a bit. Just like we started the program by getting all functionality related to growth by, we need to do the same with time. Let's control time. Press enter at the end of this first line to create a new line and type in from time import sleep. Sleep is the function we need to call to slow down the computer. Now, after the LED turns on, we need to put the program to sleep for, let's say, two seconds? Note that just this program will sleep, not the whole Raspberry Pi. Press F5, save the program, and watch the LED. Woohoo, we did it! The LED turned on for two seconds, then off again. You're well on your way to learning Python, and you're ready for more advanced tutorials. Good luck in your programming adventures!